Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Kerbal. Although it's gonna, this is going to be more like an episode of Thunderbirds. Let's go to Mission Control. We have two, Kerman, uh, two Kerbals that need rescuing. They're stranded in orbit. We've got Haleen, who uh, is in low Kerbin or Kerbin orbit, and we get ninety thousand apiece for these contracts. They're uh, they're very good. If we could do both of these at the same time, that would be staggering. So we're um, also in low Kerbin orbit, so we should be able to get them both together. And uh, we can also do this contract as well. Uh, we just need to get any scientific data from uh, from Kerbin orbit. So right, let's accept that. Right, let's uh, let's go and see where these Kerbals are. Okay, so here's our two targets. Here's Gentop at an altitude of uh, 80,000 meters, and here's Haleen at an altitude of 89,000. And they're, I guess they're relatively close together. Now the the big problem we're going to be we're going to have is trying to get both of them at the same time. Now we could do this the easy way. We could send up a probe with uh, with a one man capsule, unmanned, get one of them, come back, then go up again, get the other one, come back. But now nah, we're going to do this <laughs> in a slightly more interesting way. But we're going to need some new technology. So let's go to R and D. Okay, so here's R&D. Now, there's um, a couple of things we're going to need for this. Uh, we'll get this just because um, it kind of fills things in. Right, heavy rocketry. Actually, we don't really need heavy rocketry or propulsion systems. Um, fuel systems we do need. We're going to need some uh, some big fuel. I'm just checking out the propulsion systems. No, there's, no, there's definitely nothing that we need in there. But electrics. Uh, because we're going to need uh, we're going to need some electricity to run things. So let's take that. Right now, let's go build a rocket. Okay, now this is going to be this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. Right, what we're going to do? We're going to start off with a Mark One command pod. We're going to send up a manned mission to bring these guys back. And what we're going to do is we're then going to put on a, a little bit of structural. We're going to put on one of uh, these Rocco Max brand adapters. Now look at this. Oh yeah, because we're going for something big, and the big thing we're taking is uh, where is it? The hitchhiker storage container, <laughs> which is really sweet. Right, you know what? While we're here, let's bang a parachute on the top. Now, this thing weighs about two and a half tons. The pod only weighs about. Uh, I think it's 0.9. So this thing is three to four times heavier than we're used to getting up into space. We're going to need some serious propulsion. And we're going to be doing some maneuvering while we're up there. So we're going to need a bit of fuel. So how, first of all, how the hell are we going to get this back? Well, we're going to bang a bunch of parachutes on here. Let's bang like four parachutes on. And put those down about there. Cool. Excellent. Next, what are we going to put on next? Uh, we're going to put some science on. Actually, you know what? Let's put some uh, photovoltaic panels on as well. That'd be a good idea. We can power this whole thing. Let's put four of those on. Ooh, looks good. Actually, you know what? Let's be. Uh, let's let's have belt and braces. So let's have those, and we'll also take some rechargeable battery packs. They're cheap. Let's put those up there. There we go. So we should have a decent amount of power. Right, next, let's uh, go to structural. Let's take a, uh, a Rocco Max brand decoupler. Right, this is what we're bringing back. Okay, then when we need some maneuvering, let's go to, uh, oh, no, let's go to fuel tanks and we're going to take one of these uh, Rocco Max X 200s. Now these things have like 720 liquid fuel. Now we've been using these as our big fuel tanks. They only store 180. So this is a huge amount of fuel. Absolutely huge. To be honest, you know what? No, you know, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Right, let's move this up a bit because we need, we need some room because this is gonna be quite a big rocket. Okay, so we're gonna have that. We're gonna have um, a Terrier strapped to that. That'll power that for, Blum and ages. Right, what do we want next? What do we want next? We want 
Uh, another decoupler, don't we? Yes, we do. A rocker max. Right. Now, this is the only trouble. You get this, because we haven't got the, the big engines. And it does create a bit of um, structural um, integrity issues. Let's put it that way. Okay. Let's get back to fuel tanks. We're going to take one of these. Now, this is twice as big as this thing. It's huge. We're going to have two of those. Oh, yeah. Right. Now we're going to need some uh, some some engines to power this. And I do mean engines. We're going to be using these third liquid fuel engines. Um, would four be enough? No, it wouldn't. We're going to go six, eight of these puppies. And we're going to put those on about there. Oh, I just want them clearing this bottom bit. Right, then we go. Structural. Another Rocker Max. There it is. Right. Now, this thing alone won't get into uh, orbit. We need to give it a bit of a, a, a head start. Let's bring this up here. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take... Uh, where are we? Where are we? Engines. Engines. We're going to take a thumper. Now, that thumper on its own would barely lift this off the pad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is this starting to look like something out of a Wile Wile Coyote co cartoon? <laughs> it, it is. It's just like, take a trash can and strap some dynamite to it. Acme rocket. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right. So, how's our staging looking? So, we've got uh, a massive load of boosters. And we get rid of those. Then we fire our eight thud engines. Ditch that section. Then we fire that engine. Then we get rid of that and we come back softly on our parachutes. Alrighty. Oh, one thing. I'm gonna change this. Instead of taking Jeb, I'm gonna take Valentina and try and get Valentina a bit of experience. Should be cool. And we've got four empty seats in the storage container. So uh, plenty of room. Our guys, our guys that we're rescuing, they're gonna be traveling in style. Right, let's go launch this. Here we are again at the Kerbal launch pad uh, with our Wiley Coyote Acme rocket. <laughs> Good Lord, look at the state of it. I hope you're strapped in, Valentina. I think this is going to be a rough ride. Right, let's go out to the map view for a second because what we want is for our targets to be a bit closer to us so that as they're coming past us, we're launching and then we kind of meet up like over here-ish. So let's just uh, warp this round. I probably want them about here-ish. So. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay, so back to our launch. SAS on. And thrust us to max. Liftoff of Kerbal International Rescue Thunderbird 1. Although Thunderbird 3 was the rocket, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we are uh, already passing 200 metres per second. You're probably thinking, this is way too much. But um, as we approach the speed of sound, 3.30, these will give out. Yep. So let's start the next. Now, this is very floppy when you're below about... 12, 13,000 meters. Oh, 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 hold it, hold it. Right, it should start to calm down now. There we go. That's much better. Let's even out our roll and we want to try and stay on a standard or standard orbit as much as we can. Let's tip this over. I am much more worried at this point about speed than uh, altitude. So we're going to tip this over. All right, let's take a look at our apoapsis. We want our apoapsis to be at around about probably 75,000. Something along those. Okay, we just ran out of fuel. So. Let's get rid of that stage. 
and we'll fire the next stage. Now this stage, uh, that little engine is going to progress a lot, lot, lot slower. And it's actually quite good because you, it means you can fine-tune your orbits uh, much more precisely than with a with a much bigger engine. Uh, let's crank this up. Let's keep an eye on our speed. So our speed is good. We're up to uh, 1873. This is continuing to go up. This is good. This is very good. Okay, I'm going to cancel the uh, the burn at that point. And then we're going to put in uh, a manoeuvre. And we're going to get a periapsis going. So what's that? That's 28. Let's crank this up until they're rotating. And then what? We've got 70 and 80. That will actually do for me. Right, we've got 1 minute 24. It's a minute 44 burn. So, we want to start this at about T minus 50. Right, let's start the burn. Right. We've got 45 seconds left on our burn. Looking good so far. Looking good. I think this is going to be... This is a very much a precision flight. This is all about precision flying. Because you've effectively got a dock with these uh, with these guys or it's not quite docking but it's it's very close and you use the same principles so I'm just gonna get back on target all right we're almost at the end of what's that let's check on our periapsis what I'm gonna do is kill the burn there and then I'm just gonna slowly finish off the burn 64 66 I should click on this make it easier 69 let's get over 70 there we go and now let's kill it so we're just over 70 and we're up to 89 on the other side so okay so we're we just actually passed our apoapsis, which is okay. So I'm just going to do a, a little burn to bring our periapsis up. We want to be just over 90. So 89, 90, I'm going to take it up to 91. There we go. Right, cool. Now, our apoapsis is 93, but that's okay because this is going to help to slow us down. We need to slow down so that we come back to Halene, and at that point, then we'll match up our orbits. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so we are, uh, we're being caught pretty quickly, so I'm going to bring our apoapsis down and start to match our orbits. The nice thing about where we are at the moment is we're kind of just either side of Halene's orbit. Which is not actually a bad place to be. Let's give ourselves a little, little burn and just get that up a touch. 89 and a half. Right, that is pretty darn close. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, now it's just a case of... I'll just re keep repeating this process until we get our uh, orbits synced. But what we will do now, we'll click on Halene, set as target. Now that's going to give us these um, uh, intersects, these little red icons. And it'll tell us what our closest approach is. So at our closest approach at the moment, we're at 91,000 meters. Right? We need to get that down to about within 2,000 meters. So, uh, right, I'm going to be doing a few burns now. Okay, well, things are getting pretty close now. At our next intersection, the separation is only 1.8 kilometers, which is, uh, which is pretty darn close. So we're going to start getting things a little bit closer. So 
with um, where's Hailing? There's Hailing. With Hailing set as our target. Uh, and going into target mode, this will tell you the difference in, in speed between yourself and your target. So we are currently uh, approaching the target at 14.5 meters per second. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a series of, uh, of maneuvers. Um, probably not very many because we're very, very close now. Uh, so what we do, and you can see, like, look, only 13 kilometers away right now. Okay, so what we do, it's, um, it's a two-stage process. The first thing we're going to do is um, find our retrograde icon, wherever the hell that is. There it is. There it is. Now, when you're in target mode, the prograde and retrograde are relative to your target. So what we want to do is... Get ourselves on that. Oh, good grief. Is get ourselves on this target. Okay, that's that'll do. That's close enough. Right, then we're going to do a retro burn, right, to cancel the speed difference between us and our target. So... out the last little bit there we go right now we uh, we change to our pink icon but not the one that we saw this one oh 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 too much too much too much come on come back come back come back ah seriously steers like a cow hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy reference there Looks like a fish, moves like a fish, steers like a cow. Right. Uh, oh, oh, down a bit, down a bit. So, here we go. And now we can do a burn towards our target. So, this will get us closer to. And we're going to get, now that we're, I mean, we're, we're going to be below two kilometers at our, our closest point. So um, I'm thinking probably around 15 meters per second, somewhere in that region, 15, 20 meters per second. And track this if I can. There we go, 20 meters per second. That'll do. Right. Now we'll uh, go and see. So having made that adjustment, oh ho ho, our separation at this point is now going to be a mere 0.6 kilometers, so 600 meters away from our target. So I'm going to speed up just a little bit. Come around here. And then we're going to do the same thing again. So we cancel out this uh, this vector. You can see how these are lining up beautifully. Right, so little burn, probably 10 meters per second. Nine, 10, that will do. Right, now let's see what it says. Oh, separation at that point is going to be nothing. <laughs> okay, that might be um, a little closer than we want it to be in actual fact. Right, let's let's um, go and take a look. Let's have a visual look. Now, where's where's Haleen? Oh, there. A mere five hundred meters away. So close. And we are approaching at about five meters per second. 
So I think, guys, I think what we will do is uh, is go for it. So let's um, speed this up a little bit. So a little bit more burn. There we go. And then, I mean, we're only 164 meters away. So we want to come in pretty slowly now. So I'm just going to put on maybe a couple of meters per second. There we go. As you can see, it's just ticking down very slowly. So let's spin it round because at some point we're going to want to cancel that. I want it, I'd, I'd like to get within sort of maybe 50 meters, say, for our, uh, for our poor little Kerbal. Okay, we're within 50 meters now, which is kind of nothing. So let's um, let's start to cancel our speed okay okay our, our speed is pretty much cancelled so now it's just a case of getting our Kerbal out of the pod so um, square bracket will switch you to the other craft so there's the other craft Excellent, and we can uh, we can jump out of the pod, do an EVA. Hello, Helene. How are you doing? Right, so we're out. Let go. Activate her suit, and then a little jet in that direction. She's going to want to come up just a little bit. Stop that. And a little bit forward thrust. Let's get a bit closer so we can see. Now, where's the... Uh, the I think the hatch is... Yeah, there's the crew hatch up there. So we do want to go up just a, just a touch. And I'm getting ready to grab... And grabbed. Ha <laughs> ha Right, need to come down the ladder a little bit to the hatch. And we can board. And there we go. We've just captured our first Kerbal. Awesome source. I'm going to set uh, Gen Cap as my target now. Uh, what's the altitude? 80. And I'm currently at 87. Yeah, I'm going to want to bring my... Uh, altitude in a bit and get a bit closer than this okay so I've just done um, a couple of burns to bring uh, to bring us closer to uh, to gen top and you can see now if I if I slow this down so you can actually see um, the distance at the next intersection is going to be 30 but it's coming down by five kilometers each orbit so if we uh, if we speed this up so that we go past it that should change to uh, about 25 let's slow that down again and yeah 24.3 so we're coming down by about five five and a half kilometers per orbit so let me get um, let me get it down to as close as possible and then we'll do the last adjustments and pick up our second Kerbal Okay, so we've um, we've just gone by again, and it's kind of difficult to see because it's flashing at the moment. But um, yeah, that is kind of a little bit difficult to see. It's down to one point one. I don't know whether you can whether you, it's just flashing between six point nine and one point one. But it's um, it's one point one, which is very damn close. So we're going to start making our final little adjustments. Okay, so I've just done uh, just done a, a couple of manoeuvres, and we're going to be within 100 yard, uh, 100 meters at the next intersect. 
So I think probably one more manoeuvre. One more burn. And we'll be done. So let's pop this round to the, uh, the retrograde. Not too far. There we go. Starting to get the hang of this, flying this pig now. Right, so let's take that speed off. Keep tracking the uh, the icon if it moves. Now we'll try and get as rid of as, as much of this as we can. There we go. That's close enough. And then we'll swap back to the pink progade. That's close enough. And now one thing that you can look at actually is um, you can look at this and see if this is getting closer. So obviously after we made that change it went further away but now as we as we burst it should get close. There you go. Point one. So it's getting closer all the time. Right so I think we can we can do this visually now. I mean we're we're drifting in very nicely now. Okay, so a meter per second. Woohoo! We are going to be very, very close indeed. And uh, that's all good news for our Kerbal. So actually, let's make it easy for our Kerbal. Let's turn side on so uh, our Kerbal can see us more easily. And, uh, and hopefully find the hatch more easily. So we're still getting closer. I mean, I could go like right up to it, but it gets a bit silly. Uh, 30 meters. How close are we going to get? It's <laughs> this is this is going to be right on us. This is going to. I'm I'm thinking this is going to pass within. Okay, it's starting to slow down now. That might be the closest point. Yeah, that was the closest point. Let's go. Let's EVA. Alright, let's let go of the ladder. Turn the suit on. And zoom in. And let's go after that. Whoops. Alright. With, I'm used to being a, a little bit further away, so I have to be uh, very delicate with the controls. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it. Let's come down a touch. Now, where's the crew hatch? I'm guessing the crew hatch is on top. Yeah. Okay, so let's have a little nudge in that direction. Now, let's just... Uh... Oh, yes. Nice. He's just going to bump against that. Now, if he, if he gets a grab, I'm going to hit the F key. Oh, 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 that must be so close. And there, and he grabs it. And let's get on board. Excellent. We've got both of them. Oh, at last. Wow. I love these rescue missions. <laughs> it's like, it's nerve wracking. Right. Oh, you know what? We can do a crew report. That will do as science. Yes, that'll do. That should be the science we need for our contract. Let's check. Uh, save uh, Halene, yeah, save Gentop and transmit or recover scientific data from around Kerbin. Yeah, that should qualify. So when we get back, we should be good. Right, now all we've got to do, guys, is get down in one piece. And that is potentially uh, interesting because we don't have a heat shield. So, right, let's um, let's get this down. Let's switch to uh, to this mode. 
and I'm not going to be like particularly f fussy, but I would like to come down in daylight. So let's um, let's warp this on. I mean, obviously, it, like the best thing to do is, is come down near the spaceport, which is there. But it's it's dark, so I'm not going to worry about that. So there we go. That's close enough. And now we'll just go to the. Uh, oh, let's line this up. We'll go to the retrograde. First of all, switch to orbital view. Then spin it round to retrograde. And we'll start our burn. And we don't have to worry about fuel because we've got tons and tons of fuel. Look, we've got loads of fuel. Absolutely loads of it. So, there we go. Right, let's begin our descent burn. So, 60. This is going to happen fairly quickly. Right, I think when we get down to about 40, we'll start um we'll start a burn. Right, let's uh let's do a burn. We're at 40,000. We'll be hitting the atmosphere fairly soon. Lead off as much of this speed as we can. Keep ourselves as cool as possible. But I, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We're already coming down below, almost below 2,000 meters per second. Once we get the atmosphere, here we go. Just starting to get the atmosphere. Let's keep pointing down. Thousand. We're bleeding off speed nice and quickly. I don't think we're getting too warm. Right, we'll turn the uh, thermometer gauges off. The temperature gauges. Yeah, we're bleeding off speed. We're down to 1500 meters per second. 14. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Let's just point that down a little bit more, get the most out of our engines, oh, oh, too much, right, we're at 16,000 metres, we're doing great, we're bleeding the speed off, now very soon we can jettison this stage, I'm going to wait until we're below 300, well about 350. So here we come, 370, 350. Kill the engines, jettison that. See if it coming down. Coming down pretty smoothly. You know what? I'll deploy the parachutes now and then I'll feel safe about just um, speeding, warping this up. And then we'll get down to. Oh, these guys must be so happy. They've been rescued. Here we go. Here's our shadow. Let's just slow it down for the last couple of meters. And touchdown. We've rescued two Kerbals. Wonderful stuff. Right, let's um, recover the vessel. Well, I think Valentina did an awesome job on that. Uh, we got 1.7 science. Now, the question is going to be if we actually fulfilled that contract. So, uh, we got all of our stuff back. So, that's good. And now, Valentina. Valentina got two experience. Uh, Hald oh, I'm not going to be using it. She got two experience. And Gentop got two experience. Whoa, so we got three Kerbals leveled up. That's great news. Right, done. Let's take a look. Now, did we get all of our contracts? Uh, science data from around Kerbin. Yes, we did. So we got that. And rescue Haline and... Dope. Dope. Uh, rescue Gentop. Excellent. Wonderful stuff. Whoa, look at all this. 
That's great. We have got 327,000 now. That puts us in a pretty damn good situation. We are very close to being level, being able to level up our research and development facility, and that really opens things up. Oh man, okay, I need to, I need to sit down and a, a, a hot cup of tea and and relax after that mission. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.